For this training, we will discuss the effects of electric current on the human body. We'll talk about safe electrical work practices, common electrical hazards on job sites, and we'll see which OSHA requirements apply and how to achieve appropriate protection from electrical hazards. Many electrical tools and pieces of equipment are used on construction sites. Before using these tools or equipment, the contractor must inspect the equipment, the tools, including the cord and plug, any extension cords, and wiring to ensure that they are safe to use. Any energized part of electrical equipment, as well as any connections, must be guarded so an employee cannot accidentally come in contact with it. Extension cord sets used with portable electric tools and equipment must be of three wire type and must be designed for hard or extra hard usage. The plugs and cords must be in good condition and the plugs must have a ground pin. Care must be taken when running extension cords through holes or over edges and around corners to ensure that there are no sharp edges or pitch points that could damage or cut the cord sheath. Cords should never be immersed in water, and only those designed to withstand high temperatures should be used in high temperature environments. It is important that the work be planned ahead of time to control any potential electrical hazard. If there are overhead power lines less than 10 feet from the working area, the electrical current must be disconnected. Also avoid placing cords in heavy traffic areas. Suspend cords where possible to keep them out of walkways. When using temporary electrical receptacles, covers must protect them. If the covers are made of metal, they must be grounded. Ground fault circuit interrupters, called GFCIs, are the most common method for eliminating grounding problems. A GFCI is a device that senses small imbalances in an electrical circuit caused by the electrical current leaking to the ground. If this imbalance occurs, the GFCI shuts off the electricity within a fraction of a second. Another way of preventing electrical hazards at a job site is the establishment of an Assured Equipment Grounding Program. This program is not as commonly used as GFCIs as a way to prevent electrical hazards because it is more time consuming, as it requires inspections, testing, and follow-up and relies on a competent person to continuously monitor that the ground circuit is maintained. This could instill a false sense of security in the work crew.